what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm filming my fall hot shit 2023 you guys know i did this last season and i talked about all of my fall inspo all of the pieces i wanted in my wardrobe and just like styles i'm inspired by hair makeup accessories jewelry nails all of that stuff so we're doing it again this year and i'm so excited to have all these new pieces found and it just makes me really happy to think about like fall and like the fall trends that are here so guys, the first thing I want to talk about is some pieces from Zara that I've been eyeing for such a long time now and also some pieces I've added in just going through like the fall trends and Pinterest fall inspo pics of like outfits and just like things I want to incorporate in my wardrobe for this fall season. So you guys, the first piece that I'm eyeing from Zara is this little vest. I saw this last season and I saw it in store personally and I was like, oh my god, that's a lot. I'm not going to pick it up. It'll be here next time. And then I went to Zara again and it wasn't there. It was only online. Um... And I decided not to order it and I've been like regretting it ever since and you know this is a piece that feels like me for my wardrobe, a great staple for me and I honestly don't own any vests. You guys this vest is so stunning, um, I even created some like OOTD outfits of like how I want to style this vest but I never put it in my wardrobe so I'm hoping I can get my hands on it for this season. This is the Zara Collection double face vest and it's so cute you guys, the shirt and lining and like this like leather brown suede material i don't know how to describe it but you guys this is like so cute and i really want this piece and um i have to have her because i have a staple winter jacket that kind of looks similar but this one is a lot different because it's a vest and also it's brown and i feel like it's a great color for fall and i need it in my wardrobe you guys so you guys the next thing that i have from zara is a skirt i've been really into skirts lately now i have a few like athletic athleisure skirts but i feel like i need more like structured like everyday like fall staple skirts so i'm looking into ones that i like so far i found one from zara this is called their pleated squirt now i love a good squirt because it's just so much more comfortable for me personally because i'm tall and like a lot of the skirts are like minis and i just like i want to be able to like feel confident walking around in mini skirts and just feel like not have to worry about anything showing anywhere so i think this pleated skirt is so cute and it really gives like britney spears vibes um there was this like costume i was gonna do last year um for halloween it was gonna be britney spears but i winded up not doing anything so i didn't need to buy it but i feel like this would be a perfect staple and i already have the top for it um so i really want this piece i feel like it's inexpensive it's a good staple investment to have in my wardrobe and i've looked at a ton of ways to style it and i think i'm obviously just gonna go based off my style more casual more chill more laid back more basic and then add like a pop with like maybe some adidas sambas and make it look super cute and all of that and then i have like leather tops leather blazers leather jackets so i'm so excited for this piece in my fall wardrobe you guys on to the next art piece i want to talk about heels you guys i've been hunting for a good pair of heels now for the past season or so and i haven't found any i actually purchased one from zara during like the winter time probably in december and i ended up returning it because they were a little uncomfortable i think maybe i should have sized up because of like the structure of the heel it was like this pointed toe like pump heel but it had like yeah it was just like this silver pump heel i'll try to like find it or insert something similar if i can but it was a silver pump heel and it was very trendy a lot of people were adding silver in their wardrobe for like winter to summertime and i thought it would be a cute pop for christmas so you guys these heels that i really want from zara are like these sling back heels now this is very trendy right now but i also feel like it's such a great piece and it's something i can see myself wearing years to come as a good investment piece um so this is a zara sling back kitten heels now i really love kitten heels because i feel like they're way more comfortable you can wear them all day long you don't have to worry about like wanting to take your heels off halfway through whatever you're doing like whatever outing you're on um and i feel like it's just so cute and like so classic so the next brand that i want to talk about is jeffrey campbell now i have been eyeing some western boots from jeffrey campbell for the longest time ever but i still have yet made a purchase because i feel like i'm waiting to find that perfect pair that i'm just like obsessed with and i know i'm gonna use it 100 percent get great styling outfits out of it and just like overall feel pretty happy with my purchase of it first dream boots that i want from jeffrey campbell are these boots that i actually saw on jessica Stocksdale um last year one of her vlogs and she actually linked everything for me to get it but i feel like i didn't really see its worth back then and now that i have like come across it i'm just like these are like the cutest boots ever and i feel like i could wear this every day and it would go with any outfit and i'd feel just as happy every time i put them on so these boots were called the jeffrey camility boot and they retail for 225 and 
I think that's also probably why I didn't buy it because I'm like that's a little steep you know for boots uh, especially me not having any western boots ever so not knowing the fit the comfort but I knew that the styling would be 100% like super cute on me I just didn't purchase it and now I really really want these boots you guys and I can't find them anywhere I think it's like it was just a collection or like I don't know it's sold out everywhere and they had a pair of Poshmark that I was literally gonna order but it wasn't my size so that sucks um and then it sold out but it doesn't matter because it wouldn't have fit my feet anyway but I think these are so cute I really love the floral hologram print on this and I love like how you can see all the threading and like how nice and structured it looks and then I also like the black lining detail around the boot and I love the chunky boot heel part I feel like that's way more comfortable you know what I mean and it's just such a cute dressy boot like I feel like I can dress this up dress this down with like shorts in the summer even like cute little satin slip dresses in the winter and fall time like if I had events or even just like casual denim jeans and like a cute little lace top you know what I mean but um I'm gonna have to keep looking or like try to find a dupe or something similar um I want to go to anthropology to see if they have anything that might suit what I'm looking for that's not available anymore you know what I mean um but if not I also have this Daggett boot that's pretty classic everyone has a pair except for me um I really like the black one I feel like it's a good staple um I also feel like I saw it so many times in like Pinterest outfit ideas just like videos um I just really like these so these might be like a good safe net western boot for me to start off with I really like the length of this I feel like it's suitable for my height it's not one of those um like the short calf or the mid calf western boots it's like a really good height for my you guys know what I'm trying to say here like I feel like it's a great length for my height being 5'9 um not that there's anything wrong with the short ones I feel like personally for my style I would want something with like this kind of like structure style fit everything um I just have yet to make a purchase again and just like I need to bite the bullet you know what I mean because I'm dying to have a pair of my wardrobe and I feel like I have no shoes right now but I have sneakers but like I don't have any other kind of shoes to accessorize like at a pop dress up or dress down an outfit so yeah i'm gonna keep searching for a good pair of western boots but those are like my top two at the moment so you guys the next piece that i have is from all yoga now i actually own a pair of leggings from all of that's like the only thing i've ever bought from them one because we don't have a store where i'm at we just have a bloomingdale's and bloomingdale's tends to carry some of all yoga's items and i feel like it's always the same every time i go like it's always the same displays same pieces the same missing sizes that i need you know what i mean i'm thinking of placing an order online for this piece that i want to get but i also feel like i really want to just go to the store that's really far away from me and like see what they have in store um hopefully they'll have it in store i don't know this is kind of like a last season piece but it's so popular that they still have it and they have newer versions and newer versions of it but i still really just want this one because i like the structure I love the sizing, the fit, the style on me. It's just like, it's so good. So this is the Alo Yoga Airlift Highway Suit Up Legging in the black and white. Now I have the white one and I love it, you guys. It's so stunning. I love wearing it with any navy blue top. So I have a pair of black leggings already and they are from Lululemon and they do have the phone pockets that I love dearly, but I feel like I really want these Alo leggings instead. Um, and I kind of made those leggings like my work pants, so I feel like I need a good staple investment for black leggings that will last me for seasons to come. And then I also truly, really love the style of it. Um, so I really want these to match the white pair, and I feel like it will just look so cute in my wardrobe together, like the olive black and the olive white leggings. I feel like that would just be so, so great if I could get those pieces in my wardrobe. So you guys, the next fall hot shit piece I have is something that I've been wanting for so long, and I've been such huge fan of Lily from her YouTube channels with her boyfriend and like their vlogs and I just like download every video and I always watch it on my break time at work but also I really love her brand and I wanted to get a pair of one of her sneakers if you guys don't know she has this brand called 112 and they sell customized like Jordans and things like that and they put like designer um pieces into it like it'll have like uh, Air Force ones I'll try to insert something so guys this piece is called 112's black on the way canvas trucker hat and it's so cute they have so many different colors you guys know i'm obsessed with neutral so obviously i want the black one because it goes with everything and i feel like it will look really good with my sneakers that i have so far um and i can't wait to just wear it and like 
take an insta pic and like put it to my story and get to tag her and her brand and just like i'm so excited for that moment to happen and i really want to take a cool aesthetic pic whenever i get my hands on her merch um so i'm so excited to like find this piece for fall and just like add in my wardrobe and yeah so you guys the next fall hot shit that i have here is from canon obviously you guys know i'm obsessed with cameras and i love filming and even when I'm not filming, I'm still just like stargazing and so obsessed with my camera and like the quality and just like reflecting back and just watching old videos and like, you know what I mean? It's just really nice to have a camera. It's literally my best friend. So the Canon camera that I want is the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. So you guys, I will say this camera is totally different from the one that I'm currently filming on and like that I just have. Um, but this one is a mirrorless camera and I feel like I'll get more use out of this doing like point and shoot videos is kind of like what I've been doing and like what I'm filming right now is like me sitting down in front of a camera with the ring light and like more natural window lighting um I feel like the quality would just look more chef's kiss and I just really want a second Canon camera and I'm like I've been eyeing this for so long you guys like I just have to pick it up one day I just have to just go in the store and just grab it and not even think twice about it and like have no regrets because this is also gonna be an investment piece for my career and like my dream life that I want to live and I can branch into photography and just like do fun little creative shoots like that as well. I feel like at some point in time when I went in Best Buy I probably looked at this camera and like just glanced at it not knowing how bad I would truly want this camera you guys but I have so many screenshots in my phone. I have so many like manifestations written down of like the day that I get this camera and like how I'm gonna film about it and do like unboxing and I just genuinely want this so bad you guys and i feel like it would just make me like so happy and feel more refreshed and like just ready for new content new experiences and just like things like that so that's also why i really want this camera if you guys go back to my past videos you probably hear me talking about this constantly because i just really want to manifest this moment happening for me and just like how grateful and how much gratitude i'm gonna have for this piece and it's just like a lifetime piece for me it's not even just like a wardrobe staple this is my life staple <laughs> so yeah okay you guys so the next fall hot shit that i've been eyeing is some nail inspo um i've been getting my nails in lately and i usually don't but i feel like it's a good self-care method it makes me feel really good and um i don't know i just like it i don't even like take pictures or like hold drinks up with it anymore like i used to i just kind of just get them done for me now which is nice um i usually just go in with a color idea or just look on pinterest but I've been searching on Pinterest for nails a minute ago and I found some really cute and spill picks that I want to get done. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with navy blue, royal blue, whatever dark blue you can think of. Like I'm literally wearing a sweater that's navy blue, that's how much I am obsessed with it. I want my nails to be navy blue and I know that's like a winter color but I don't care you guys. Like I truly think it's just like... A really good happy color you know when i like was going through a phase of like i was obsessed with gray and i would pick up so much gray pieces sneakers and like i got my nails gray like probably two to three times in a row i am obsessed with blue right now specifically navy blue um so i found some pinterest and spill pics and i'm gonna insert them on the screen and i really want to do them it's also suitable for my style because they are gel they are short you guys know that's how i like my nails i don't really like acrylics i don't like the sns i don't like any of that other stuff that makes your nails lengthen i would not know how to function with those like with that length like right now my nails are growing out and like they're getting longer and i'm just like i want to cut them so bad but they're like they're fine you know what i mean like they have not chipped they look great they're just a little grown out but i I can't function right now, but I'm trying, you know what I mean? So you guys, I have two other inspo nail picks. The first one is this really cool, like, I'm sure it's like a gel French manicure, and it has this, like, blue, I'll just insert it. You guys see the stars? I'm obsessed with this. I went to this nail shop, and I was like, hey, can you guys do this for me? And they're like, yeah, we could do that, but, like, the stamp part is going to be hard because they don't have a star stamp. Um, but also, like... I love the idea of how this looks on this girl and like the length and the shape. I feel like it's probably like, you guys call this like almond, right? Almond shape nails, but I I don't ever get almond shape and I don't ever get that length. So like, am I going to feel comfortable? Am I going to like it? You know what I mean? Like, should I just wait till Christmas to get something like that? Let me know. Um, I think it is super adorable though. Like, I am obsessed. Like I said, these were my birthday nails, but now I'm like 
second guessing because of the length and just like the design like will it come out correctly will it look botched i don't know but i think it's so cute you guys i really do i adore it um and the next pick that i have is more of like my neutral size these nails are so stunning so gorgeous i feel like this is very nice very elegant very cute for 24 right um so they are like just these french nails and they have this like chrome dust powder over it that's what it looks like to me i actually don't know these are just like inspo picks they don't really tell you all the details about it which i wish they did on pinterest because it would be a lot more helpful when i'm describing what i want like even with hair picks i'm always like i want this and they're like there's so much going on in that hair like i don't know what that is and i'm just like i don't know but i just want this you know what i mean like i don't want to sound crazy or like look crazy when i'm showing people inspo pics i just want them to get it like i get it so these ones are so cute i feel like they're a great neutral i probably will get these maybe like i don't know if i'm gonna get them for my birthday but maybe like an occasion like probably the holidays like maybe like thanksgiving or christmas or even like new year's i feel like these are new year's like nice fresh reset nails and very elegant and sparkly and classy looking um but yeah so let me know what you guys feel about the inspo picks i love them all um i don't know why all the picks i keep finding have like acrylic or like their lengths are just way longer than my nail lengths that i like because i feel like it's not gonna look the same if i got it in a short gel form you know what i mean like it'll probably still look cute but not as cute as like the originals so that's my little nail and spell pick let me know if you guys have any color suggestions or anything like that um but yeah all right you guys and the last ball hot shit that i have here is another little inspo but this one is an ootd inspo um i tried to find a ton more you guys and i can't find any that matches my aesthetic my vibe right now um i have a whole pin board of like fall vibe outfits and, like winter fashion and things like that but i feel like those are so last season for me that i'm not even there anymore i want the new trends the new fall hot shit stuff so this is the first one that i found and if i find more i'll make a part two and we'll talk all about it but this piece is um super cute i don't even know it's just so aesthetic so like new york city like gossip girl vibes you know what i mean so this girl has this little like leather bobber jacket on which is so cute and it looks more oversized on her which i love oversized pieces um she has this like turtleneck knit sweater um looks kind of chunky kind of oversized i like the rib detail at the bottom i feel like i've had something like this in my wardrobe previous seasons but i I do this thing where I buy a ton of pieces I'm obsessed with and I feel like it fits well for me and then once the season changes or the year changes I refresh everything and I get rid of a ton of pieces that I truly loved but I feel like now I'll pass it to someone else and then I'll buy like newer pieces so I'm trying to get out of that phase because I feel like um, if I keep doing that like my wardrobe my money is going to stay in my wardrobe you know what I mean so I have to stop doing that. Then underneath, it looks like she has like this little gray pencil skirt on. It doesn't really look pencil, or maybe it's like a pleated, like flowier skirt because it's not so fitted. And it has this like side slit, which I think is really cute. And I'm sure, 100% sure, she's wearing some kind of like leather fall knee high boots or something like that. Um, I found another picture that was exactly the same, but it was more zoomed in. I feel like that could also be a piece that I might want for like fall booties this season, but I mainly just want western boots right now because I've wanted them all summer and I never looked around and I never put the time and effort to find a pair. And um, then I found one and it sold out, but yeah, you guys, this is the only inspo pick I have and I feel like a good brown bag would be cute. My dream vision of a fall outfit is like a cute leather booty a uh, Louis Vuitton bag and I don't know just a casual basic outfit with like a leather top to make it look cute and like some shades so that's my vibe for this season you guys so if you guys have any inspo or like know any good pin boards or you have pin boards and things like that let me know down below or DM me on Instagram I love to check them out but yeah that's the end of my fall hot shit 2023 let me know what you guys think of this I love you and I'll see you next week bye guys guys the fact that i'm still sick right now it's like it's torture like i hope i'm not sick on my birthday because that would just be bad i still have this really bad cough right now and i feel like i'm so congested i can hear it it sounds bad i feel like my voice has been changing all throughout this video or maybe i'm just feeling like that because i feel sick still um my cough is bad you guys it's 
horribly disgusting and I hate the wretched sound of like how harsh the cough is and like how hard it is for me to breathe right now while I'm talking and it's just like and 10 minutes when I'm packing up all of my shit that I filmed and like cleaning up my makeup bag and like putting my hair products away I'm gonna have the most normal non sick voice ever you guys this happens to me every week it's been like probably three weeks now no maybe four weeks because I've been sick towards like the end of August up until now um, but yeah I hope it goes away soon so I can get back together and also like I feel like my hair it needs some work it, it looks like really bad right now it's kind of dry um, I feel like I have split ends but also my hair is a little frizzy so it could be that too that looks like I have so much split ends but I know I need a trim right now because I haven't had a trim since like July and it's September baby like what am I doing right now like and also like should I get highlights for my birthday or should I just like have my natural color like darker after being blonde color for my birthday to do something different or should I just go back to being a highlight girl like forever um I also want to do pink here you guys I'm just like all over the place we're definitely going to do another um fall hot shit 2023 part two or something similar in that sort where you guys get more in-depth feels of like how I feel about fashion trends and like outfits and I